One more thing I was able to accomplish that's probably bigger than anything on that list. Many of my German viewers are probably asking yourselves right now, if you could live anywhere in Europe or in the USA, why on earth would you want to live in Germany? Well, I got a little secret I want to share with you. Come closer. Closer. Germany's actually pretty sweet. The city has a bicycle network of 1,200 kilometers. This makes the Bavaria metropolis the most bicycle-friendly city in Europe. It is, this really feels like cheating. And the answer is always no. Everything here is very expensive. What do you think? All right, I just got approval. All right, it's race day. Heading down to the English Garden Park. There's a little bit of a surprise midway through. Looking forward to it. This is my starting group. Oh yeah, there's a beer tent. Oh, perhaps a carbonated beverage is not the best idea. I'm starting to see a pattern here of, of how people survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did try some of this last year, and some of them are definitely better than others. I was going to say that, yeah. It, the farther, the better. Ah, this was the one I went to last year, and I... Ah, the Bio. Bio, yes. A pedal Bio vine. That's... <laughs> All right, Apple. I'm going to try this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Some balls. <laughs> Oh, that is warm. Oh. What, what do you got prepared? So there's, there's, there's another fest we're going to go check out now, and they have another special drink that uh, we're going to have to try. More alcohol? More alcohol. Huh? It is the... Boyer's... Boyer's... I don't think you're supposed to drink it while it's so flaming. No, no, no. You're not. Uh, like, I don't like it. Moving here was a goal that took me about five years to complete. You see, I began to feel a little bit stuck in my old life. Maybe, maybe you felt like this too. It sort of seemed like all of my friends found their place and I was just sort of a passive observer in my own life, watching it go by right before my eyes. It was around this time I also felt like I wasn't growing anymore, and I knew that I had to make some sort of a change. That also happened to be about the same time I took my first trip to Munich. Now this was summer that was completely different from what I expected, and it was really odd because it was foreign, yet somehow it felt very familiar. I remember when I came back to New York, I knew that this was some place that I wanted to spend more time exploring. And it was probably during the pandemic I had made the decision that I was going to live there for at least some point in my life for some period of time. Now maybe my German and European viewers might not find this so strange, being that you all have Schengen and you can just live in any country in Europe, but as an American this is a pretty odd concept. 
You see, we're taught from a very early age that America is the freest of all of the countries. And also clearly the best. I mean, where would you even move? There's probably foreigners there. But regardless of all this, I had made my choice. I want to make the most out of this adventure, and this is where you guys come in. I want to know what you think I should experience now that I'm here. For example, the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life was visit cave paintings in the French countryside. These were made by early humans, and it was absolutely mind-blowing. If you haven't done it, I highly recommend it. Also something that I thought would might be kind of boring, but I was totally blown away. What else have you guys done that I should be experiencing now that I'm here? I already have a few plans for next year, including seeing more of Germany considering I'm in Munich and most of my adventures are based here in Bavaria. But I know there's a lot I've been missing. I've never been to Berlin, I've never been to most parts of Northern Europe, never been anywhere in Scandinavia, uh, haven't really explored Austria all that much. There's just so much to do, but I want to know what you guys think we should get up to this year, and I will film it and make videos about them. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'm looking forward to a wonderful year with all of you fantastic people. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Take care.